All right, so this lead code question is called to sum. Given an array of integers, return the indices, so not the elements themselves. Return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. So given the array 2, 7, 11, and 15, with the target being 9, because the 0th and the first element add up to 9, you would return 0 and 1. All right, so we can actually solve this in linear time. What you need to do is you need to create a map that keeps track of the element you're on and its index. And what you're gonna do is whatever element you're on, you're gonna see if the difference between that element and the target is in the map. And if it is, you have your answer. I'll show you what I mean. So we start with the number two. What number do you need to add to two to get to nine? You need to add seven. Is seven in the map? No. So we'll add the number two, which is at index zero. So two, zero. Next, we're at the number five. What number do you need to add to five to get to nine? You need to add four. Is four in the map? No, it's not. So you add the number five and its index to the map. Now, we're at the number seven. What number do you need to add to seven to get to nine? You need to add the number two. Is two in the map? Yes, it is. So there's our answer. So all you need to do is push its index zero and the current element we're on, we're gonna push its index into an array and there you go. All right, so let's start coding this out. As I said before, we're gonna need a map that holds the numbers and their indices. So let number index equal new map. Sorry about that. Next, what we need is a result array. So this result array will either hold the indices of the two numbers that add up to the target, or it's going to return an empty array. So let result equal empty array. Skip down to the bottom. Worst case scenario, we'll return result, which is an empty array, if we don't find two numbers that add up to the target. Now let's fill in what's inside. Next step is to iterate every iterate over every element in the array. So for let i equals zero, i is less than nums dot length, i plus plus. All right, and just to make it easier to read, the current element that we're on, I will save that in a variable named num. So let num equal nums i. Next, what we can do is save the difference between the number we're on and the number and the target. So let's say we're at the number two and the target is nine. Um, I'm going to automatically save the number seven, which is the difference between what we're on and what we need. So let complement equal the target minus num, which is the number we're on. Okay. Next step is we're going to need to check to see if the map holds the complement of the number we're on. So if number index has the complement, which is the number we need, then we're going to say result zero. So the first element in the result array is going to be the index of the complement. So number index dot get complement. And the second index is going to be the index of the number that we're currently on. So result one equals i. And then you would return the result. But if the numbers didn't match, now we need to add the current number we're on um, and its index to the map. So number index dot set 
system, comma, I. All right, and now we can test this out. Looks good. All right, so it's faster than 70% of JavaScript online submissions. All right, and that's it. Um, remember that all the code is linked in the description below. See you next time.